I bought a NeoPixel uh, strip, um, 8 LEDs. So I'm going to fit it. You can see it on the back there. Um, because Clean Flight has now got a um, an interface for the NeoPixel, I'm going to try it see if it uh, see if it actually works. I mean these these are only like five quid, I think they were. So right, so the first thing you need to do is load Clean Flight onto your Nase 32, which I'm not going to tell you how to do that. You have to figure that out yourself. Um, the first thing you need to do, or second thing you need to do, is enable the LED strip, which I'm doing this with the wrong wrong hand. So if you enable that, and then you click on save and reboot, it will disable it. So what you need to do is change the RX PPM. You've got to have PPM input to actually make it work. You enable that, and then you enable LED strip and save and reboot and then it will save it properly well I've got the D4R connected up and it's going through um, an ESC which has got a BEC on it which is being powered through it now I've just tried a if I can find it I've just tried a separate BEC just to power the NeoPixel but it don't work that works that doesn't like it because that's reading for 5.4 uh, 5 volts and it doesn't like it it's something to do with the difference between the voltage coming out of it anyway so what I've done is I've, I've connected it directly to this BEC which is the same voltage so if you do have any problems and that doesn't work doesn't come on at all it's probably to do with a different voltage on your BEC so you need to power it from the same one that your nase is connected to Does that makes sense good right so the next step is um, in the configurator um, what you need to do is on the LED strip screen um, Let's see if I can hold back the left hand. Like that. That's it. On the LED screen, you've got various boxes. If you mark out here up to zero to seven, which gives you eight LEDs, and I've just done the wrong one. Zero to seven, which gives you the eight LEDs on there. And if you select one of them, and then you go over to here, and you basically tell it what you want it to do. So we select that, which will be an indicator, and then we'll have number 7 as an indicator, and we'll do that one just as an example. Now if I save that, obviously this saves down the bottom somewhere. Now on the NeoPixel, um, if I put left on the joystick, it's upside down at the minute. The, the further you go, the more it flashes. And that one's right. And if you go forwards, they both flash. So, right, I've soldered the wires on the and on the nays. I, I don't like headers. So, anyway. This wire here goes to the data pin on the NeoPixel. And then these two wires here, I've got a positive, a positive and a neg negative going directly to the, uh, the nays. Power. When I hooked it up to my BEC here, which is 5.1 volts, it didn't work. So I've got a voltage regulator here, which I've got quite a few of. It's just a variable voltage regulator. So I've knocked it down, and I've knocked it down, and I've knocked it down. It's now at 4.1 volts, and it works. So get some of these, because you're going to need them if you're going to fit these things. Um, that thing there is the uh, 5 volt regulator, which is now down to 4.1 volts. Um, I've got the lights just set up on arm, so as it changes colour, when you arm it, it goes to blue, and it goes back to green. 
for the time being until I get it all back together. So get some of these things and also this is a good thing as well, it's a reptile um, temperature sensor thing and it's good for testing obviously the temperature of things and that regulator isn't getting what 38 it's not really getting that warm just a little tip uh, if you've got any connectors or anything uh, hot glue is your best friend I've had the, um, that's that's purely why I actually solder these things on there because I've had a couple of them pop off before so anything that can come off I'll glue it in place so now if I go left obviously this is backwards then the left indicator depending on how hard you press the stick that'll start flashing and if I go right it'll start flashing if I go forwards they both start flashing and the ones in the green are the status indicator, uh, armed indicator. So if I arm it, they turn blue. And then if I go left and right, and obviously it disarms itself after a while. And if I go forwards, so there you go. It's all done.